Hey guys, welcome back to Hash Include Electronics with another video. And in this video, we are going to learn how to control servo motor using SP32 module. We will use SG90 servo motor which rotates from 0 to 180 degrees. We will use analog joystick to move the servo. So let's get started. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit subscribe button below and press bell icon to get latest updates. We will need following components ESP32 module. Servo motor, we will use SG90 servo motor, analog joystick, UBC or buck converter for 5V supply, 7 to 12V DC battery, in our case LiPo 2S battery, breadboard and few jumper wires. Now let's make a connection as per circuit diagram. Mount ESP32 module on breadboard, connect 5V and ground pins to breadboard power rail. Connect servo motor signal pin to ESP32 IO16 pin. Provide 5V and ground to servo motor. Connect joystick to ESP32 module as per table. Let's take a look at code now. First we need to install ESP32 board using Arduino board manager. I have provided the ESP32 board link in the description below. Go to file, preferences and add the ESP32 board link. Then go to tools, then boards manager and search for ESP32 and install it. Now we need to install ESP32 servo library for servo motor control. Go to tools and then manage library. Search for ESP32 servo and install it. We need to include ESP32 servo library. Then we have defined pins for analog joystick, x-axis and servo motor. We have created object for servo motor. Inside setup function we need to attach servo pin. Inside loop function read the joystick value. Map the joystick value to 0 to 180 degrees. Move the servo using write function. We have added some delay so that servo can move properly. I have provided the link to the code in the description below. You can upload it directly. Now let's upload the code. Connect ESP32 module to laptop using USB cable. Select ESP32 ruler module and port. Hit upload. Now provide 5V and ground using UBC to breadboard. Let's see how it works. We need to remember following points. Please use only rechargeable battery. We need to provide proper 5V power supply for servo. Connect 3.3V only to analog joystick VCC, else it won't work. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Stay safe and please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.